Today, I'm really excited to share with you how to detox your body, specific tips, how to some pitfalls, and also ways to maximize a good detox to support your overall health and wellness. So specifically, when you are looking at detoxing your body, I just want you to know that your body is automatically detoxing, whether you choose a certain cleanse or detox program, but just know we have certain organs and systems within the body that are considered your detoxification organs and systems. Specifically, any detox is going to target several of these organs and systems. The most important of all of these systems is your lymphatic system. That is part of both your immune system and it is responsible for removing toxic waste, debris, pathogens, fat cells, even cancer cells exit the body through the lymphatic system. So that's one super important system. Another organ that is really critical is your liver. Then we also have your digestive process, primarily your lower GI. The liver corresponds to that process, but that is definitely one that is really, really important to zero in on, especially getting food moving and really supporting your bowel process. Then we also have your kidneys and your bladder and even your lungs, so breathing, and your skin. And those all collectively comprise and make up your detox process. So anytime we're thinking about how do we support and detoxify the system, there are really six core tips that I recommend. So first, you want to hydrate your body really well. The act of hydrating supports both the kidneys and the bladder. It supports the digestive process. So we're moving the bowel contents out of the, the small and large intestine. And it also supports the lymphatic process, especially when we're looking at sweating and getting toxins out via the lymphatic process. We have to hydrate our body optimally for all of the detox organs and systems to function at their best. The second is what you're intaking via food. You want to eat clean, healthy, organic, pesticide-free, herbicide, and insecticide-free foods. You want to, if you're consuming animal protein, you want to really be aware of what your animal protein is eating. So you want to limit the exposure to all of the toxins that can be entered or can get into our body via the food that we eat. So sometimes you might want to look at sourcing a CSA community uh, farm or even consume your eggs or animal proteins and even your veggies through local farmers that you can see how they're growing, you know how their uh, they're growing practices and really limit that exposure to toxins that way. The third is to eliminate toxin exposure via not just food, but also your environment. Primarily, a lot of our toxin exposure is going to come in via the skin. So this affects the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system sits superficially. There's two levels of the lymphatic. So the top level sits right under your skin. It connects up with the skin and sweating, but it also is part of that whole absorption process. So overloading your skin with chemicals from skincare products, your the products you use to clean your teeth and use on your hair. So just be aware of your everyday skincare products, the use items there can very much help support your detox program and minimize the need for your body to be overburdened and, and have those lymphatics, the, the lymphatic system and your lungs and your skin and your, your digestive process and kidneys and bladder be overwhelmed. Similarly, toxins in the environment that are really common that I see with my patients are things like the plugins, you know, the air fresheners, those are just spewing all sorts of fragrances and phthalates that are highly toxic. So you want to be aware of things that you're using to clean your house and what you might be using to make your house smell fresh from candles to scented plugins, even perfumes that we use on our body. These are all things to be aware of. Same thing in the car. I love to recommend that folks clean up their air via air filtration processes and include that in their car because a lot of times you spend driving in the car and if you've got a plug in or one of those things hanging, the air fresheners hanging from your, your, um, the window, uh, it, it, it just overwhelms the body. Now, the other aspect to supporting a detox is getting out and being physical. So the act of being physical and sweating 
invigorates your lymphatic system. This is what gets the process moving where we are detoxing and ridding the body and aiding the process of the lymphatic system to get rid of toxins. So sweat is powerful in any type of detox program. And often we will see folks accelerate the whole sweat process through far infrared saunas or sauna and heat therapy, but being physical is a great way to invigorate that whole process. That also being physical will get the bowels moving. So that's very positive. And you will also increase the excretion via a void, which we consider a urination. So physical activity is great for that. And then one that a lot of folks don't consider to be part of the detox process is to get ample, adequate amount of sleep every night. Ideally, seven to nine hours is the kind of sweet spot for sleep, depending on each person and your schedule, but you want deep, long-term, uninterrupted sleep. And the reason here is that more recently in the last seven years, we discovered that there is a lymphatic process in the head and in the brain. And that lymphatic process is called the glymphatic system. And we have little cells, brain cells that are kind of the housekeepers of our brain. They're called the glial cells. And we know through research and study of this whole process, the glial cells only operate when we sleep and we sleep optimally. And the glial cells remove toxic debris from our brain. They get rid of brain-based inflammation. They help clear out toxicity in our brain. And that's really powerful because one of the most important things we want to do is keep our brain healthy and supple and optimized and functional. And sleep helps the brain detoxify itself. And then last and final is to consider doing a cleanse. This is a more targeted, more specific approach to detoxing your body. Sometimes there are kits and packages where you can have a detox for two weeks or four weeks. So others will do certain extended fastings for detoxing, but I recommend our detox kit here. And this is comprised of two different elements that are going to target all of the detox organs and systems. So we have our cleanse and our detox product, and they together work to function and power up all of your detox organs. And this is really important because you want to support and cleanse the kidneys and the bladder. You want to support and detox the digestive process, your colon. You want to support and detox your lymphatic system. And through our cleanse and detox product, those two together are really gentle, but super powerful, full, comprehensive product and a plan for you to detox your body. So it, I really want to highlight, this is the other thing. A lot of times people think detoxes mean they're going to be stuck or attached to the bathroom because there's a major evacuation happening. That is not an ideal detox. And in fact, those tend to be what get people into trial. They get them into trouble where they either get dehydrated or they're losing minerals and really key micronutrients too quickly. And I'm really excited to share with you our, our detox and our cleanse products because they're gentle. You can take them every day. You can take them long-term. But every day and every way, you do want to make sure you're hydrating well, you're eating clean food, you eliminate your toxin exposure, you really get physical, you enhance your sleep, and then add in our cleanse and detox on a daily basis, and you will be humming with a low-tox lifestyle and really supporting your body in helping minimize all these things that are bombarding it and lowering and weakening your immune system and just aging your process, aging your body process. So I'm really excited to share with you our cleanse and detox products and some tips on how you can detox your body in the most healthy and gentle ways.